think the title of this art, well, it's obviously a little bit tongue in cheek. Surprise, surprise. Off duty cops from all over the country were in DC during capital coup attempt by Ashina Robinson at the root. I'll link this down below. I mean, and again, like if you're going to be committing illegal activities, whether it be at the Capitol or otherwise, um, you know, you probably be smart to cover up your face and you don't even look that you know sus suspicious right now given that we're living in the middle of a pandemic just a pro tip wear, wear a mask if you're going to be engaging in illegal, illegal activities several police departments across the country have opened investigations into cops among the ranks to find out if they're involved in the siege on the u.s capitol on, on washington dc on january 6 gory number a probes following an announcement from the SPD, Seattle Police Department, on Friday that two of its officers have been put on administrative leave pending an investigation to allegations that they were in the nation's capital during the raucous events. NYT reports that cops from Texas, Pennsylvania, and New Hampshire are now under similar scrutiny after social media, social media posts placed them near the riots that took place in the nation's capital. Some of the potentially incriminating posts were made by the MAGA supporting officers themselves from the NYT. In San Antonio, Sheriff Javier Salazar of Bexar County said he had referred Lieutenant Roxanne Mathai to the Internal Investigations Department after she posted a video of herself on Facebook from near the Capitol wearing a red, white, and blue face mask. Well, at least, at least they were wearing one and wrapped in an American flag. Officer waxed enthusiastic about the day, but stated explicitly that she would not enter the Capitol. Uh, plumes of tear gas wafted in the background of the video, and Mr. Salazar said investigators would determine whether police had declared the gathering an unlawful assembly. If that is the case, and she remained on scene and began filming and began making challenging statements, that means breaking the law, the sheriff said. The video of Mathai had been forwarded to the FBI. Meanwhile, the Xylenpol Police Department, Pennsylvania, Xylenpol, almost like xylophone, but a little different, is reviewing whether one of its officers, Timothy Goldie, may have broken the law by taking part in the insurrection after he was captured in pictures at the DC unrest. Him being there is not a problem. He had a right to be there, but not to break into cap in the Capitol, obviously, the head of the police department, Jim Miller, told the Times. David Ellis, chief of the Troy Police Department, New Hampshire, has also been identified as a protester in D.C. on January 6. Troy residents have called for his re resignation. And the names of multiple members of the New York Fire Department have been turned over to the FBI based on reports that they were photographed at the riots, according to NBC. No, not firefighters. Not firefighters. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, for cops, people in law enforcement to be, you know, engaged in this insurrection attempt that you know wanting to uphold you know racism xenophobia white supremacy as well as capitalism completely completely on brand for cops and others in law enforcement what what are you doing firefighters like you have a pretty good reputation you're out there putting out fires uh you know providing emergency medical services getting cats out of trees etc like don't throw your lot in with these with these goofballs i mean jesus the future of most of the investigations depend on whether the officials accused specifically participated in breaching the capitol building which is outright criminal activity led to the death of five people including one cop u.s capitol police said over 50 law enforcement officers who responded to the violence were injured by the mass of white supremacist rioters Two black officers who were working at the Capitol during the attack told BuzzFeed News that some of the insurgents came face-to-face uh, -face with were, were, in fact, off-duty cops. Wow. <laughs> One guy pulled out his badge and said, we're doing this for you. Another guy had his badge. So I was like, well, you got to be kidding. <laughs> Another officer, a newer recruit, echoed the sent sentiment saying that there were, saying that, where he where he was on the steps to the rotunda on the east side of the capitol he was engaged in hand-to-hand -hand battles trying to fight attackers off but he said they were outnumbered 10 to 1 described extraordinary scenes in which protesters holding blue lives matter flags launched themselves at police officers. i mean how does <laughs> oh my goodness 
We were telling them to back up and get away and stop. And they were telling us, we're on your side. And they're doing this for us. And they're saying, this is why I'm getting punched in my face by one of them. It happens to a lot of us. We're getting pepper sprayed in the face by those protesters. I'm not going to even call them protesters by those domestic terrorists, said the officer. One thing is clear so far. There was a whole gang of people who who earned taxpayer dollars among the horde of Trump supporters who traveled to D.C. to claim this country as theirs alone and violently attack democracy. So again, I'm not I'm not surprised by this at all. And um, but in addition to all these off-duty cops being at this Capitol riot, this attempted coup or insurrection, however you want to describe it, I bet there was probably a lot of um, you know, former military people or people that are currently in the military, you know, frankly, whether it be, you know, National Guard or otherwise, because again, this whole, um, you know, notion of, of white supremacy, of, of racism, of American exceptionalism runs very deep within these authoritarian circles, whether that be police or, or the military. So again, not as well as white supremacy. So not not surprising at all that there's you know a bunch of cops from all over the country have been identified at least you know being being there well, i guess we'll have to wait and see if they were actually part of the um, coup attempt itself so leave your comments in the comment sections down this area like the video if you like the damn video subscribe for more content peace much love